Pollution comes in many forms and has in fact been around since the appearance of the earliest humans. On sanitary conditions, in untreated garbage, in many urban environments, our breeding grounds for bacteria, and quite literally so for the animals carrying those diseases. Which was what allowed the bubonic plague, or the Black Death, to flourish in Europe in the 1300s. Water pollution affects the rivers, streams, and groundwater sources from what we get most of our drinking water. In 1936, the Kiwagoa River in Cleveland, Ohio, which flows into Lake Erie, actually caught fire. There was so much waste in it. Several more times over the next 30 years, but perhaps the, arguably the most serious and promulgated environmental issue of the late 20th and early 20, 21st century is air pollution, coming from automobiles, industry, and the burning of fossil fuels, which contains a broad spectrum of concerns such as smog, smoke, greenhouse gases, and global warming. If our own actions cause us problems with the very air we breathe, then we have a problem. We now go to Patrick with air pollution's effects on urban and suburban environments. Thanks, Zach. The most obvious form of pollution, air or otherwise, in cities and outside of them is the occasional bout of smog, which is a combina combination of smoke, fog, sulfur dioxide, and other substance substances that are sentenced to cloud the way to work or incite you to cough and wheeze where you'd be in it. The lack of clean slash fresh air causes respiratory problems, lung and throat damage, and other systems to those with or without respiratory diseases, asthma, allergies, and weak immune systems. Over the past 60 plus years, laws have significantly lowered the amount of contamination in environments, and pollution levels are nearly as bad as they were back then. But not nearly as bad still affects children, the elderly, and outdoor workers who are often exposed to these conditions. Major industrial corporations, through their beneficiaries and influ influential political positions, Congress, <laughs> shoot down attempts to, to curb the amounts of emi emissions and of toxins and pollution such as carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas which is presently the major contributor to global warming. Because, in simple terms, they lose money by doing so. Thanks, Patrick. Now we go back to Patrick with an environmental scientist on the process of global warming and its ostensibly significant effects. Thanks, Zach. Now, Mr. Heathcliff, what is global warming? Or, in broader terms, climate change. Climate change is exactly what it says it is. Change in global or regional climate patterns over a long period of time, that being thousands or even millions of years. It is a natural process that happens with or without human interference. Modern global warming, however, is caused by human extension of ma by massive industrial carbon dioxide emission of the greenhouse effect. Warming that is caused by greenhouse gases such as CO2, trapping heat in the atmosphere that has gone beyond the natural place of global climate change. Why is this information significant? Short term, it's really not, but that's being short-sighted. That rate at which the climate is warming up is extremely slow by human standards and may take lifetimes to make a major enough difference so that it would be considered necessary to be addressed by even those who oppose action to curb it. But like an infected wound, the problem of human-induced climate change will fester with the warming earth, rising ocean levels because salt water expands with heat, botched ecosystems, and other consequences, other consequences if left untreated. And that you can do personally by doing the little things, driving less, using less water, recycling, etc. And to the younger audience, when you grow up, be the people who be, be the people to change industry and politics to be more environmentally friendly. Switch to renewable resources and energy and industry so as not to pollute. Be the ones that bring about a better world, not humanity. <laughs> I started. Chill, come on. I forgot where it was. And as the current and soon to be current representatives of the Humans Club, I feel it is our duty to tone down the selfishness enough. What? The Humans Club? Yes. <laughs> Hold on. Um.